right, looks like the next Inquisitorious character's upon us, Seventh Sister. Um, she kind of looks goofy. <laughs> Actually, you know what she looks like? She looks like Barris, but, like, in this kind of clothing instead of her usual, uh, what do you want to call that, robe? <laughs> What's the highlights? Enemy intelligence, key support, peace for Inquisitorious squad. Inflict Purge adds more ways to apply and utilize the purge mechanic. Formidable opponent counters Jedi that use foresight. Huh. That's weird. I was just talking about with the mace rework, how you could potentially make a team that's just constantly foresighting with Yoda and uh, Qui-Gon lead and now with mace. And then they go and say this. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Hey, Hollow Table Heroes! Seventh Star will be joining. I mean, wow, Seventh Star. Seventh Sister will be joining the Hollow Tables as the newest member of the Inquisitorious faction. Seventh Sister was born on the planet Mur Muriel. And like most Inquisitors, she originally served the Jedi Order and somehow survived Order 66. Below, we take a dive into the developer's motivations and inspirations while creating the kit for this new character. You know, that's something I was thinking about too. The Papa Palp wanted to wipe out all the Jedi. But if there was one that was remaining that was force sensitive and all that, like as long as they would go to the dark side, they'd take him. Like that's these characters here became you know workers for Vader, <laughs> and it says that she used to be from the Jedi Order and somehow survived Order sixty six. <laughs> Anyhow, the basics. Like all Inquisitorious characters, Seventh Sister will interact with the Purge mechanic. Seventh Sister fulfills her role of healer for the Inquisitorious faction, and her kit is meant to lift her allies by supporting them throughout battle. But ain't that something? I just said she looked like Barris, and then they say she's a healer. Huh, who else is a healer? Oh yeah, Barris. <laughs> her kit also includes an always-on assist when paired with Inquisitorious allies that helps spread Purge and debuffs. Hmm kind of cool always on assist what does that mean kind of like the geos when they mass assist all the time as a leader geez each one of these has a leader ability <laughs> how are they all leaders <laughs> seven sister grants empire allies extra evasion with additional bonuses to inquisitorious allies her omicron is focused on territory wars and punishes jedi for using foresight and gaining buffs Stupid territory wars. And wait, is that how she's, uh, whatever it said up top, can crush uh, characters with foresight? It's just in territory wars? Seventh Sister's, guess again, leader ability is strong against Grand Master Yoda enemy squads. Yeah, because of the dang foresight. <laughs> and then there's another bullet point with nothing there. <laughs> Unique attributes. Seventh Sister is the only Inquisitorious character to have a droid companion, ID9, in their Galaxy of Heroes kit. Huh. I saw that little guy floating there. I was wondering. Apparently he is part of her. Is she really? Oh, only Inquisitorious character. I was going to say, I thought it was saying in the game in general. I was like, I thought there was somebody else as a droid. Am I mistaken? But no, it says Inquisitorious. So, okay. Never mind. She has a powerful single target ally healing ability that gets stronger as enemies become inflicted with purge. Single target healing? Hmm. Sort of like Barris, though. I mean, Barris is the whole team, but it's kind of powerful because it does the equalizing stuff. So if you have a lot of health on the team, that's going to be a massive heal that you can get. Seventh Sister assists her Inquisitorious allies every time they use an ability, making her a threat to constantly chip away at the opposition. Okay, that's cool. Inspiration. Seventh Sister appeared alongside the 8th and 5th brothers in the second season of Star Wars Rebels and was one of the first Inquisitors shown on screen. She notably used the droid ID-9 that was an earlier model of Iden Verzio's ID-10. Would make sense. <laughs> ID-9 come, would come before ID-10. <laughs> ID-9's electroshock prod was designed around the scene uh, yeah, around the scene in Rebels in which it attacks and shocks Zeb. <laughs> Zeb. <laughs> He's a feisty little guy in the show. <laughs> Strategy tips. Seventh Sister is the main healer for the Inquisitorious faction. 
but doesn't have as much resilience as most of her Inquisitorious allies. Be sure to protect her in battle in order to maximize her healing over the course of the skirmish. Well, what is it, Ninth Sister? She's a tank, right? So I'm sure that's how you could protect her. When she assists, Seventh Sister applies debuffs that cannot be resisted by Jedi. Huh. Use her often to help spread these debuffs to important targets. User her ID9, probably supposed to be using her ID9 Electroshock Prod special ability to lock down, or maybe it's just use. Use her ID9 Electroshock Prod special ability to lock down key targets with turn meter removal and ability block. If you're facing, if you're facing a Grandmaster Yoda enemy squad, Seventh Sister works well in the leader slot. When they say Grandmaster Yoda enemy squad, are they saying that he has to be like the leader, or are they saying if he's in the team in general? Because nobody, nobody, you know, that's advanced in the game is using Yoda as the leader. His leader ability sucks <laughs> compared to others, you know, other Jedi. Fack, who is Seventh Sister? Seventh Sister is part of the Inquisitorius. She was an elite Imperial group of Force sensitive. Oh, whoops. Which was an elite Imperial group of Force-sensitive soldiers that Darth Vader trained to hunt down Jedi who survived Order 66. How can players add Seventh Sister to their roster? Seventh Sister will be unlocked via an all-new marquee event. Are more characters that apply Purge via an area of effect AOE ability coming to Galaxy of Heroes? Yeah! <laughs> Why would anybody have that as their question? What are the requirements for Seventh Sister's Legacy tier? Second sister, ninth sister, and seventh sister, uh, all five stars, all at five stars or higher. The reward for beating this is four Omicron materials, a player portrait, and the Jedi Assassin title. I mean, why do you even have to put what are the requirements? Everybody knows that's what you do all the time. They always pile, add it up that you need to have the five stars or higher and yada yada this and yada yada that. Like, it, duh. You, <laughs> who's asking that? <laughs> Anyhow, developer insights. So there's that. And um, yeah, next up is the funner, better, cooler video, the kit reveal. And then we can really see what that leader ability is all about with Yoda. So yeah, until then, I said see ya.